Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if a generic audio driver has been detected on your computer. Specifically when you're attempting to connect to a speaker or microphone headset. So I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully get an, a more specific driver. And we're going to go jump right into it. So beyond just going on to the manufacturer's website, which I would implore you guys to try, something else you can do here would be to open up the start menu and type in services. Best result should come back with services listed right above app. So go ahead and left click on that. Locate the Windows Audio service. And you want to go ahead and double click on that. Set startup type to automatic. And if it's stopped, you want to start it by selecting the start button. And then you would select apply and OK to save that change. And then you'd also want to look for a Windows Audio Endpoint Builder. Again, you want to do the same thing automatic and make sure it is running. Apply and OK. And once you're done with that, you should be able to go back into the device manager and then attempt to update the driver. You can also just uninstall the driver as well and then restart your computer. And then hopefully once your computer is restarted, it should automatically pick up on the speaker driver. So just to give an example, I will show that here. So we're going to go open up device manager. And we are going to expand our sound, video, and game controller section by double clicking on it. And then our high definition audio device, we're going to go ahead and right click on it and then uninstall device. We're going to go select uninstall. And now what you want to do is unplug it if it's an external speaker. If not, if it's an internal speaker, that's okay as well. Once you restart your computer, it should automatically detect it as long as it's plugged in at that point. So make sure you plug it in after you shut off your computer so that when it turns back on, it should automatically detect it once again. So pretty straightforward process, guys. Do hope that I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.